Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.12 from Nielsen book and the question is use the node voltage method or nodal analysis to find V1 and V2. Okay, maybe let's set the bottommost node here as our ground. So the voltage here will be 0 and let's name this node as node A and this node as node B. Okay. Now straight off the bat, we know that this is 20 volt from the ground. So this node here will have the value of 20 volt. Okay. Now maybe let's assume the direction of the current. This may be going to the right, going to the ground, going to the right. This I just follow the arrow of the current circuit, current source. So I'll have go up and here I will have it go down okay now let's do kcl at mode a then do kcl at mode b and let's see what we get from there okay. i will have kcl at mode a kcl said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out okay now i will have this current here that goes in that will be 20 minus VA divided by 10 okay and I think there is the only current that goes in here all the other currents are going out so this is going out so I will have VA minus 0 that will be VA over 30 so here and then plus here this current here so I will have VA minus VB divided by 20. Now because I do not want to work with fraction, maybe let's just multiply both sides by... So how to remove this fraction? 60, I think. Yeah, okay. 60 is good. So 10 and 60, I will have 6 cancelled into 6. So I will have 120 minus 6 VA. It will equal to 30 and 60 will cancel into 2. So I will have 2 VA. And 20 with 60 will cancel into 3. So I will have 3 VA minus 3 VB. Okay, let's do some simple algebra here by moving this 6 VA to the right hand side. So I will have 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 6. That will be 11 VA. And then I will have minus 3 VB. That will equal to 120. But I will move it to the right hand side. So I will have 120 here. Let's have this as equation number 1. Because nothing that we can do from here. Let's do another equation. Which is KCL. At node B. Okay. The sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, in node B, we have this current is goes in, so this and that. So from this current, we will have Va minus Vb divided by 20. And then plus this current here, that will be 10. And... All of that will equal to this current that goes out, which is Vb minus 0 or just Vb divided by 40. Okay, let's get rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides by 40, I think. Yeah, 40 is good. So I will have 2Va minus 2Vb plus 400 and that will equal to Vb, right? Okay, maybe let's just let the constant here. So we have 400 is equal to, let's move this 2VA to the right hand side. So we'll have minus 2VA. And this minus 2VB becomes positive and we add them with VB. So I will have plus 3VB. Okay, maybe let's move that 400 to the right hand side. So I can erase that 400 here. Okay, now I will have two equations. 
and all we need to do is just solve equation one and equation two and the fastest way to do it is just using calculator but now let's change it into matrix so we'll have 11 minus 3 then minus 2 and then 3 and i will have va and vb so va and vb here and that will equal to 120 and 400 okay i think that's all set let's plug the numbers into calculator first let's set up the equation solver which is number five and we only need two variables which is number one and just plug that 11 minus 3 120 and then minus 2 and then 3 and 400 we'll get the VA value here which is 57.78 Okay, we'll have VA is just 57.78 and this is 4 and then the V2 here will be or VB okay VB that will equal to 171.85 okay 171.85 but the question is about v1 but v1 is the same as va so this will be equal to v1 and v2 here is also the same as vb so this will be our vb so this is the final answer of the question and hopefully i did not make any mistakes in my calculation thank you for watching and see you in the next video uh, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.